Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. It really takes an extravagant vision to capture the life and magic of Elvis Presley on screen. Director Baz Luhrmann embeds his flashy aura into Elvis Presley's life to a really eye-popping degree with Elvis. It's now streaming on HBO Max and will be on 4K Blu-ray and DVD September 13th, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Now, if you've seen Romeo and Juliet or Moulin Rouge, there really is no mistaking Lerman's distinct vision within minutes of Elvis. Now, the opening sequence practically mirrors that of Romeo and Juliet with a really frenzied narration. And Tom Hanks is Colonel Tom Parker on his deathbed recounting how he made Elvis famous and that there would be no Elvis without him. Now, he wants to set the record straight in this fever dream. Parker was working as a music producer on the carnival circuit when he heard a young Elvis Presley on the radio. He's played here by the remarkable Austin Butler. Presley had a sound and image all his own, really inspired by the black community and music that he grew up around. And Parker knew that he found his golden ticket in Presley. Now the rest, as they say, is history. But the relationship between the two was toxic, as Presley found himself thrust into controversy with someone that he that couldn't be trusted. The film also stars Olivia de Jong as Priscilla Presley and Kelvin Harrison Jr. as B.B. King. Now, there's something to be said about a director who knows his vision as a filmmaker and is completely unapologetic about it. Elvis is pure Baz Luhrmann every step of the way. From the high energy pacing, the reimagined music choices, and flashy split screens at any given point. There's a frenzy and urgency that Lerman injects in the first half, really capturing that skyrocket to fame that Elvis faced. Parker promised him fame, fortune, movies, and even merchandising. And he uses that traditional biopic structure going from one city to the next as a real musical collage for the first half of the film with updated covers of classic Elvis tunes as the transition music. Lerman wisely pays tribute to the black culture that inspired Elvis and really reminds us of the blatant racism of the time. Now, it may seem like Lerman is attempting to cover a lot of ground, as Presley led a really full life in 42 years, but Lerman then studies the film in the back half once he meets Priscilla, and his career really started to slow down. Now, it becomes the story of Elvis sticking to the image and the music that he wanted to make, despite what Parker wanted out of him. Now, there's really admirable quality to him, despite the philandering and the eventual addiction problems that we see. Overall, Lerman keeps us a really positive interpretation of Presley's life as a showman and entertainer, and he wisely casts the unknown Austin Butler to portray him. Now, I think it would have been too distracting if someone like Harry Styles or even Miles Teller were cast in the role. And Butler nails Presley's husky voice and the physical mannerisms like the wiggle without ever resorting to impersonation. Butler utilizes really great control, always finding the heart and the soul of who he was on stage and off. Now, there's a lot to be said about uh, Tom Hanks' performance. Hanks has played many real-life figures at this stage of his career, and many of whom are the hero, but not so here. And I think it's a little jarring to see him as that cartoony villain, buried under heavy prosthetics and a fat suit, and it's a stretch for him to essentially be playing a carnival barker, much like we saw with Lerman do with the Harold Zidler character in Moulin Rouge. Elvis is a tale of two big personalities, that of Elvis Presley and Colonel Tom Parker, and what they both wanted out of Elvis's career. It's glitzy and glamorous, but without Lerman's uh, eye, this would have felt like the traditional biopics that I detest. He makes most of it work, with despite the length and the daunting task at hand. I just haven't stopped thinking about Austin Butler's Oscar-worthy performance, and I've been humming Elvis music since I've watched the movie. I'm giving Elvis four out of five ticket stubs. Now, if you pick up the Blu-ray, I want to let you know that there's a 22-minute making of feature documentary called Bigger Than Life. There's rock and roll royalty, uh, the music and artists behind Elvis, Fit for a King, the style of Elvis, 
Viva Australia, turning Australia into some of the filming locations for Elvis, and the Trouble uh, Lyric video. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Paul's Movie Trip. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have a favorite Baz Luhrmann movie or a favorite Elvis movie? Let me know your thoughts, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Elvis. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.